I'm Julian. I'm here to do my reaction video for the first episode of the season 2 premiere of Riverdale. I don't know if you guys know, but I did my reaction videos for the entire season 1 of Riverdale. If you want to check out the playlist, will be in the description down below. And I'm excited because Riverdale comes back uh, here in Latin America at the same time as the US. So I'm excited because I don't have to look for links or anything. I just can sit here and watch it on my TV and just, you know, enjoy the show and don't have to worry about any, anything else. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited for the season two premiere. I, I have watched one trailer, that's it. Then I don't, I, I, I'm not being following spoilers. I don't know, like I haven't read the, the uh, press release or like promotional photos. I have been out, like I don't know theories, what's going to happen who's going to join, I don't know much of the show, which it could play off like a good reaction video because I am going in as raw and like I don't know anything about the episode. But at the same time, it kind of will play a little bit against me because at the time I do theories, it will only be based on what I watch. So I don't know if that is good or bad. Uh, I don't know, you will guys, you will, you guys will decide at the end if that is good or not. But yeah, anyways, I'm excited for this new episode. Uh, I mean, I love everyone on the show. I love Archie, I love Veronica, Be uh, Betty, I love Jodhead, and I love Buckhead the most. The one thing I don't, I will never want is for Betty to be with Archie. Uh, I don't think, I, I don't want that because I think that will, that will make the Buckhead relationship suck, you know, so. I don't want that, um, but I'm excited, like I said, I'm excited to watch this new episode and to see what, if this new season has the same vibe as season two, as season one, I'm sorry, so we will see, we will see what it gives us, um, uh, I do want to apologize for not posting for, um, The Vampire Diaries and all the other shows, Game of Thrones, Team Wolf, which I will do an update video on Team Wolf, um, but yeah, right now it's just that since I have the episode live here on Warner, that is a channel that airs the, the episode here in Latin America, I don't need to, um, like I said, look for the episode or anything. Uh, so it's easier for me just to sit and watch uh, right now. So I will try to catch up during the week with all the other reactions. So don't worry, that will be coming soon. So if you guys watch my The Vampire Diaries reaction, and Game of Thrones, Teen Wolf, and all that, I will continue, like I said. So yeah, for this week, I'm trying to do the shows that will premiere this week, so I can, I'm not that far behind. Like, for instance, on Fear of the Walking Dead, I'm two episodes behind. Uh, American Horror Story, I'm still two episodes behind, so yeah, life is crazy. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this reaction video, and if you did, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to see more reaction videos, because I do reaction videos for quite a lot of shows, so you there must be a show that you're watching that I'm reacting to and that you might want to check out. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, that's about it. Let's just enjoy episode one of season two of Riverdale. Okay, here we go. I have missed this show so much. Okay, this is really sad. Oh, poor Archie. Yeah, so he didn't miss her, right? Why? Why? He's dying? Oh, he's imagined this. I don't know why the audio here on Warner is like kind of crazy. Who is that? Oh my god. I hope that is not foreshadowing to anything. He's trailer. <laughs> hey, is that Beanie wearing cat to find you? <laughs> Please tell me that you were safe. What? <laughs> you gotta love her. I mean, okay, that was a bottle of crystal for your father. She doesn't care. Sorry, I have to take this. Is that your house guest from last night? Is that a... Oh my god. He's gonna take on his dad motorcycle. <laughs> he even has the crown painting on. Oh, look at him. Poor Archie. 
what? 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 And then he went. And then he bolted. There's something else oh, there. I think, and I don't know, maybe I should have waited. Maybe I made it worse. No, no, hey, you tried to help your dad. You saved your dad's life. Yeah. For Cheryl. And yeah, dad, he's a town so hero. A superhero name. Yeah. Pure hurt the powerful. <laughs> there isn't any True. After dad some surgery, what happened to Fred? I'm pretty sure maybe it was. You can accuse my father of being the shooter. Higher and lodge, you know, burying his dad. Aww. I'm not shipping them anymore. That's it. Done with queer, queer baiting. Oh my god, he thinks his dad is not gonna make it. Oh my god, is they gonna kill him? Think we're gonna start the season with another murder? Like on season one? Yeah, what happened? Come on, Archie, what happened? Nothing, he shot my dad right out of the diner. No, he's hiding something. Come on, I'm gonna believe that. Sheriff, Archie's just, it's too early to speculate. There's a grudge against your dad. Hire and lodge. Like Hire him. It's just too early to tell. Yeah. There are certain things, comforting boyfriends. Oh, same. That's the old Veronica talking. Old Veronica would have bolted by now, but... You don't need to prove anything to anyone though. Just follow your heart. Can someone find him new clothes? Veronica will go with you, right? What? Archie, try not to worry. Your dad is strong stock. He's a fighter. Yeah, he is. See him in a nightmare as well. Oh my god! Is he saying goodbye to her song? Is this a metaphor? No, 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 hey, you can die. It's too soon. Yeah, it's too soon. You can't change your mind now, Dad. They're waiting for you. Woo! Uncle Oscar, Grandma Hardy. No, no, no. This is a bad idea, aren't you? They don't seem really happy to see him. Don't follow the light! Don't follow the light! Poor Archie, though. Okay, Veronica, this is not time for quickies. Veronica! What the hell? Hey, 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 don't scream at her, she's trying to help. She just 
Unless you took the wallet for some reason. I'll take care of this. I'll see you back in the hospital where I'll call you. Shit, Andrews. Do you really want me to come? I do, yeah. Oh. Go, Veronica. You don't deserve this shit. Come on, go. Did she took the wallet? I'm sorry, no. Oh. He's hurrying. He just lashed it out. He needed something to snap. But the guy was wearing a mask. Oh, okay. <laughs> that helps. Is that an actual theory? Yeah, we do theories in this show. You know the drill, Veronica. There's something going on, right? What, what, what? You are gonna need a whole play. Aww. This is sweet. Don't you just love Buckhead? I love Buckhead. What the hell? Could my own birth would I pray for them? Jughead said that what happened to Mr. Andrews may have been... It's just a theory, though. Evil enough to do that for the others. It's the easy answer, though, you know? But could it be that easy? You. What? I don't think you're an innocent boy. Oh, she did it? Oh, she sent someone?
Yo, what the hell are you doing? Me back for saving me, Sweetwater River. What, what the hell? You gave me the kiss of life, Archie Andrews. Hi, why is she so weird? Now I've given it to your dad. What? She doesn't. She do, she believes she's an angel. Cheryl, this this girl needs help. Toodles. Toodles? <laughs> she's insane. But like. It's not even funny how crazy she is. It's actually really scary. What the hell is this? We said me Fred is not going to die. I. I know. What the hell? She's not dead. that has nothing to do with the show but more with the channel that is being airing here in Latin America I didn't realize that uh, they were going to do like uh, like the dub version which means that I when I was listening to it it had Spanish audio and I hate that I always like to watch on the original 
uh, language. I did have the chance to change the change the audio, but it was a really bad audio. So I don't know if I'm going to continue watching here unless Warner fix that problem and give us a better quality audio on the uh, normal version. I mean, I will try to do something else because it wasn't really good, okay? And, and I was just reading the letters just to hear because I didn't hear what uh, uh, the, the voices were saying. And even if I put the volume up, like the voices were far away. You didn't hear, but you hear the background music rather than the voices. So yeah, I mean, that sucks. So we will see what I do next week. I did enjoy watching it here, but I don't know. I do like a good audio quality, you know, to just enjoy uh, what I'm watching. Um, anyways, so uh, the episode. I, you know what, season one, the first episode was really good. I remember really liking the episode, but like on the first few episodes, I used to compare uh, Riverdale with Pearl Liars with some of the aspect that they have, but everything does make sense here on Riverdale and like not on Pearl Liars. So they are far away from that. And I'm glad that by the second season, now we have a more solid, you know, um, show than what it started off doing. I don't know if it's because of the audio issues that I'm mentioning or I don't know if it's um, if they change the way they edit the episode. The episode didn't seem as darker as it was in season one. The editing back in season one was flawless. Like it made the episode even better. You know, sometimes with the uh, the mirror shots and all the things, those little things, the lining on the characters and that like bluish kind of feel that it had, like it was always cold there and something like that. I don't know how to explain it, but the vibe was a lot different. I don't know what changed there that it didn't give me that vibe, you know? I don't know if it's because the mystery now is something that um, we, we witness happening. And back with Jason, uh, even though we knew that he was dead and that he got killed by somebody shot him, uh, there was so much mystery, I think, surrounding that. Now, the mystery on this season is who shot Fred uh, Andrews. And one thing that I did have a complaint back in season one was how Archie, being the main character, he wasn't as involved in the main problem back in season one. So now, in in their mind, the writer's idea to make him be in the middle of the mystery, they decided to, you know, actually make someone from his family part of the mystery. Uh, so now we don't know what happened. I'm guessing, and this is completely what I think, uh, that in that moment when uh, the guy, whoever it was, was pointing the gun at him, and he was just not having it and he was out, uh, he was saying things, it looked like he was saying things that Archie, one, he doesn't remember, or two, he doesn't want to talk about it. Which both of them seem a really logical thing to happen to Archie after something as traumatic as what happened that day with his dad. So in that aspect, I like it. You know, I like how the mystery is playing off because it gives you time to maybe have flashbacks with him of that day of him remembering words and remembering things that the guy was asking, uh, possibly. We don't know. We do know that what he did, it's something that is really like, uh, how can you say it? It's real. You know, it's when you are in that situation, sometimes you freeze. And that doesn't mean that he's less of a hero. That doesn't mean that he's a coward or anything like he was telling himself, you know, uh, that he was. It has nothing to do, but I understand why he believed that, you know. Archie is, has this heart that he wants to be the hero. He wants to protect the ones he loves. And it's very fitting into character that that is what, what is happening. So 
I do uh, and I do enjoy that part uh, of that, but at the same time, I feel like uh, they were forcing a little bit too much. The this wasn't a robbery, but it was an act of revenge. It didn't, you know, just from the the fact that he didn't, uh, the guy didn't rob anything. Uh, you have kind of the mystery, you know, but the wallet is it is missing you know so if the guy came in if he was high or something and maybe pops didn't want to give the money well he actually i don't think he was going to deny that i don't i, I do believe that there's something more there but it in parts it felt a little bit forced especially in the parts where our team you know the four kids they get themselves into the problem again you know uh veronica has her suspicions uh but her suspicions usually rise by the first theory jothead comes up with that is really crazy to to think about but um you know I, that is the little part that i feel a little bit forced um then uh um yeah, that, those little things, you know, and then Jothead, you know, just the first thing he thinks is like a conspiracy theory and yeah, of course, this is a town where, but it doesn't feel like, I don't know if it, I don't know what it was, but it, I didn't, I felt it, I felt the mystery a little bit force. It could have play off a little bit better if, for instance, um, Archie's that phone was missing. The wallet seems such a like random thing to to steal, you know. Um, I don't know. It's just you know it feels a little bit forced. Maybe if the guy will go to Archie's house to and break in and and actually actually trash his house or something like that. Maybe that's not his style, but. I did felt a little bit forced that part. I'm not saying that I didn't like it. I did. I did enjoy. I did, I do enjoy the mystery now of finding out who is that guy and who he is possibly uh, connected to. The easy route is going with the lodge, you know. So will they make it as easy as that as just saying, oh, it was the lodge who did it? Will they make that as easy? They want us to to look at the at the lodge as the main reason why he got shot. So maybe it's not that. Um, I don't know. Maybe. Now you also during this um, dream sequences that he had, uh, Fred, which I also felt really disconnected because it felt like he instead of looking back into his life. He was looking into the future of the things that he was going to miss, which in, I don't know, it does make sense because at the end when he wakes up, he says, I came back to protect you because he wanted to, you know, he wanted to, to live all these moments, you know, uh, but it's really like, I don't know, like kind of crazy that he will go there, like has a near death experience he witnessed the future instead of the past or he has a, a, a like dreams of the future instead of the past i don't know i don't know it seems a little it, it seems like dreams that archie could have had you know where he sees his dad protecting him when he sees his dad at his wedding with veronica and things like that you know but i don't know just little things like that just bug me a little bit because those things is the the ones that I feel make the mystery a little bit forced and make this episode a little bit forced. I'm not complaining, like completely complaining, but I do want to point out a few things that I felt while, while watching the episode. Now, there's another thing. I feel like like those these four kids, they go into such, like they have so much pressure on them Archie especially, how much pressure he has on on all these things, you know, uh, on being the town's hero and how much this is affecting him, you know. You have Archie and then you also have Cheryl, which, yes, you can say Cheryl is 
crazy and now even saying she's crazy is not a good thing because she actually seems like she is not in a really good uh, and health healthy um, state of mind she seems lost she seems like she needs help you know because she did try to commit suicide two times during that I don't know if by the last time when she when she burned the house if she was actually trying to kill herself or something I don't know why the mom came back that didn't make myself like I that wasn't clear for me why she the mom returns to the house I think that Cheryl, Cheryl says that it was because she wants to find a picture or something like that that she loves so is that it is that all is that what the mom wanted where was the grandma is the grandma dead Th those little things but honestly I do like Cheryl I do I, I think that she's such a wonderful character to you know to peel because of the many layers she has as well as, as as Betty you know but I just don't want to keep to keep seeing signs of of Cheryl going through a mental instability like mental health issues and not having anyone notice that and helping her, you know? Yes, now her dad is dead. Mom doesn't seem like she's going to recover that easy. Uh, and also she might be really afraid of Cheryl. And the, the, the brother is dead. So that leaves Cheryl by herself, someone who tried to commit suicide, who set her own house on fire so this girl, instead of, I just don't want the, the writers to use her mental issues as just to say how crazy a person can be and how evil a person can be. I don't want that. that I, I said the same thing on the previous season with Betty, that I didn't want this dark Betty to be an, an excuse for her to be evil. They sometimes on shows they use that. They use mental issues to say that that person is evil. And I think it's, we have gone through that route and it will come out a lot better if Cheryl receives help, Betty as well, if they receive help, help for the issues that they are having, you know. That's not normal. That is not something you say, oh, it's just a way to use the drama and to try to you know create more uh storylines and you are using a character with an obvious mental health issue and you're just exploiting the character to use the evil side people who are evil are not necessarily uh mentally unstable so you know where i'm going i i, I just i don't like that part i feel like i like cheryl I like Cheryl season one. She's she's always really you know cr like like she likes to say things forward. You know she doesn't shut up and she if, every time she wants to do something she just goes and do it. But right now she's going through a lot more problems than even Archie. Even that that final scene with Archie sitting there and just waiting for the guy that is also like PTSD. And if you don't take those things seriously with young people who usually as well like everyone else suffer from these problems and you're just using that to keep moving this storyline without getting the help they need I mean I, I don't know if this show is but the one that you need to um, I don't know to make the point that you need to receive help and all that but I also don't want them to be villainized just because of that, you know. So we will see what will happen on the next few episodes. I haven't watched the promo. Uh, sadly, here on Warner, they don't air a promo after the episode. So uh, we will see what it what will give us uh, on the second episode. Uh, I, if I have to like rate the episode, I will give it a solid eight. I really enjoy it. Um, also, let's talk about that, like, for the last thing I'm gonna talk. The guy, this guy who was, like, uh, the angel of death that has arrived into Riverdale. And also, Greendale, which is the 
place near Riverdale and that's how they are connecting the two of them um, they the guy went and killed Miss Grundy he grabbed a, like I don't know what it was but he choked her and he was strong enough to pick her up by the neck and kill her so what is it what what is he doing like if they are calling him the angel of death or something like that it means that this guy is looking for a type of revenge on people uh in in order to take revenge on these people he's killing them so he has a weird sense of 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 justice and he's trying to make justice i don't know but what it was why was the need I love the fact that they do like this I love the fact that they don't leave loose ends like you will think oh when is Miss Grundy going to come back we knew where Miss Grund Grundy was we knew what she was doing still doing uh, that predator we knew what she was doing on all that and we see the end of her arc which give us more things for the future now it's not just Fred getting shot, but Miss Grundy getting killed by the same guy. So why? What is the connection there? Like the only connection Fred and Miss Grundy have is Archie at the moment. That is the only connection those two people have. Uh, Fred is Archie's dad. Miss Grundy, in, in uh, like the only importance she had, it was because she was with Archie on season one. That's it. So the connection right now is, is Archie. The guy was pointing the gun at Archie. He didn't shoot. He was screaming things, maybe asking him something, whatever. He only took the, the wallet, possibly. And that's it. So what is the deal? What is, what is it? Why did the guy not shoot uh, Archie? We will know, I guess. We will know. Uh, on the next uh, episode. I have heard the rumors that Sabrina, the teenage witch, is going to come into Riverdale, which I'm not comfortable with because I don't want any supernatural aspects on the show. The show is really like, it seems like reality based, like everything that happens has a motive and a repercussion and all that and it follows the simple rules of life without the need of, of, of any supernatural events happening. I don't want this to like, for instance, to go back in time or to freeze time to know what happened or something like that. I don't want that. I don't want any supernatural thing going into this show. So that's it. That's all I'm going to talk about. I hope that you guys enjoyed this reaction video. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to see more reaction videos, because I do reaction videos for quite a lot of shows. And that's about it. I enjoy it. I really enjoy the episode, and I hope that the future episodes are even better. Hope you guys enjoy. Thumbs up, like I said, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time for another reaction video for Riverdale. Mwah. Bye, guys.